Welcome to List It Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. Today we have one of the most unique properties we've ever had on List It Live. And Angela and Tyler, you guys are going to tell us all about this great property. Awesome. Take it away, man. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I'm Tyler, and uh, this is a view of one of the nine homes that are on this fabulous property. This is the main house. It's uh, from 1935. It is uh, stone and I think local wood construction. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I don't know where they would have uh, gotten the wood from in 1935 <laughs> if it didn't come from the amazing trees that are on this property. Right. Um, it's set in a canyon, very secluded. Um, the swimming pond that we'll get to in one of the next slides right there. Uh, this is a natural spring-fed swimming pond. Um, and uh, just a beautiful feature of this property, very unique. Massive, massive water abundance in this area. Um, yeah. It's on the back side of Vulcan Mountain, which is very near Julian. Um, that whole Vulcan Mountain Preserve um, is on the back side of this property and uh, it's part of the watershed. So. How many acres in total? So there's 1,100 acres wow. um, as a total part of the property. There's an upper and lower section. Um, this is, main house is in the upper section. And uh, there's a retreat center uh, that's a converted barn with uh, several other guest homes on the lower section. So you can uh, see a beautiful little story circle slash campfire set up there next to the pond. This is a view of the lower section of the ranch. There's barn guest accommodations. Uh, they call it the retreat center because it's set up with like four hotel rooms. Here we have a kitchen in the main room. This is the main grand hall of the retreat center um, where you can have parties. Each doorway goes off to its own guest room. Wow. Yeah, set up to host retreats, parties, anything like that. There's, uh, so there's this is a guest room. Mm -hmm. There's four guest suites in that barn dominium. Have you had a barn dominium on the show? I have yeah. not had a barn dominium. I've barn never dominium. had 1,100 acres on the show. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you guys a lot of firsts. firsts. Mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of firsts here, checking mm -hmm. them off the list. So. Beautifully appointed uh, guest rooms throughout the property. Uh, this is another one in the lower ranch section. We're kind of jumping back and forth geographically, but it's all beautiful and fantastic. It's all very secluded, um, but still very highway close. You don't have to travel a great distance to get to this property. It's about an hour and 15 minutes from San Diego um, in the back country, sandwiched in between Warner Springs, Julian, and Borrego Springs, kind of on your way out to the desert, but not in the desert. So all those people that are buying monster ranches out of state, and then they have to schlep their whole families on planes and trains and whatever else to get yeah. there, don't have to do that. You can stay right here the in Southern house, California and have The main house everything. has five fireplaces. Five fireplaces. Fire, two, are the, two of them are outdoor. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. So a lot of cozy nights with uh, crackling fires, but full heating and air conditioning as well. So that's one of my favorite optional. things about the property is that there's all these very almost historic homes and buildings everywhere, but they've really nicely, cleverly updated things. So it's got Wi-Fi and solar and um, forced heat and air in the main house, you know, stuff like that. So you've got your creature comforts, but you yeah. still have that historic kind of experience. Old timey yeah. feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the grand finale. <sighs> this is the reality TV worthy tree house. Mm -hmm. um, it's set up on a hill above the main house. It's built around a wonderful native oak tree. And it's custom built actually by the current caretaker of the property. Wow. This is inside of it. It has a spiral staircase going up inside. It's beautiful, beautifully made. They're still working on it. It's a piece of art, a work in progress. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely the crown jewel of this property. This is making um, my childhood uh, treehouse look really, really disappointing. Yeah. yeah, well, if you want a different treehouse to give the kids, there's actually a second treehouse on the property just for kids. <laughs> just wow. For kids. Uh, this is another view. In, this is the top floor of the treehouse uh, with a nice deck that you can go look out across the valley and see the beautiful rock formations. There we are can see the solar and uh, beautiful rock formations. Those rocks are on the property. It's part of the 1,100 acres. Uh, the farthest mountain is not, but that would be where the Pacific Crest Trail runs across mm -hmm. that ridge. Wow. So um, okay. there you have it. A uh, thing we didn't mention is this property also has a sweat lodge um, that they built for an event, and it is a, uh, a uh, faithful reproduction mm -hmm. of a Native American sweat lodge. Uh, wow, for ceremonies and yeah, stuff like uh, that. Okay, so 1,100 square 
square acres. 1,100 acres. 1,100 acres, acres. Yeah. There we go. Give or take. We have nine different buildings. Nine different buildings. Mm -hmm. Not including the treehouse, or is that with the treehouse? That was including with the, the treehouse, tree yeah. And then a sweat lodge. And yep. then a sweat lodge. And then like a whole entire retreat, dance hall, ceremony, whatever you want to do in that huge Correct. Mm -hmm. with, commercial kitchen, with regular commercial kitchen. kitchen mm -hmm. yeah. Outdoor stage um, attached to that. Um, what doesn't this house have? Um, it doesn't have a buyer yet. We would really <laughs> love for someone to uh, come and good purchase one, this property. That's a good one. I was going to yeah. say a pool, but you have that lake, which yeah. is way better than any pool. Yes. Yeah, and there, yeah. if you did want to put in a pool, you'd have to figure out which of the 1,100 acres you wanted to do that on. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Okay. Who owned owns this home? I'm so curious. So, um, it's been in the same family for about 30 years. I think they started with the central part, that um, 1930s home where the pond is and everything, and then they kind of grabbed property around it. And but who so, originally owned it? Oh, Lon Chaney Jr. was evidently a, a, a previous owner from Hollywood um, scary movies back in the day. Wow. And so. Warner Springs in general has been like this classic Hollywood hangout since way, way back in the day, and this was no exception. So he'd come out on the weekends and play cowboy, and so all the horsey stuff is still there except for the barn dominium they converted from the old barn into the retreat center, so. But there is another barn on property, so. Yes. Wow. Have Oops. your barn and retreat in it, too. Yes. Have your cake and eat it, too, but have your <laughs> barn and eat it, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have your barn and have a party, too. Yes. All right, this home is literally the, a first yeah. on Listed Live. Mm -hmm. 26068 San Felipe Road in Warner Springs, 12 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, over 8,000 square feet, but that doesn't equate for the 11,000. The 11, Acres, okay. yes. right? Eleven hundred acres. Eleven hundred acres. Okay. It's a lot of acres. It's not that many acres. It's, it's a lot of acres. There's a pond. There's a sweat lodge. I could go on for days. But if you would like to learn more about this amazing property, reach out to Angela or Tyler. Their information is on the screen. This really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You guys, thanks for bringing this on Listed Live today. Yeah. Thank you so much for thanks having for us. Having this is really great. fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good.